good morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Seppi I really hope there's no one behind me yeah there's no one behind me um I am basically gonna vlog a week in my life for you guys I'm currently walking through the car park on my way into work um as you guys know pandemic is pretty bad right now um we are at the worst and highest number of cases so far in our history in the UK so I just thought I could kind of give you a junior doctor's insight into it and you guys can see what I get up to plus an insight into my new job because I haven't really vlogged since I've moved jobs like a junior doctor vlog so here we are um currently walking in now like through the car park I've still got a few minutes walk left but yeah I really hope this was not a rubbish intro um because I'm very self-conscious that I'm holding my phone like this through the car park So it is, so it's my lunch break and I just um, came to the doctor's mess, which kind of looks like this guys, by the way, um, which is where all the doctors can hang out in normal times. But obviously now that it's COVID times, <laughs> <laughs> I really want to flip the camera because all my friends are sitting on that side, but I won't. Um, so yeah, it's usually where doctors can hang out and chill, but obviously because of COVID, it's like limited on numbers and how many people come in, etc. Um, but yeah, I just had my lunch, had some teaching, and now I'm going back to the ward, so okay. off I go. So it is 5.25, I usually finish at, well, I'm meant to finish at 5, um, and usually we can leave like quite close to the time, depends how busy it is. I just had a couple things I wanted to check before I left, so that is what I had to do, but now I'm in the car park, I'm walking home, I'm so tired, I really, I really didn't sleep enough last night, so I'm looking forward to going home keeping myself awake till 8 a 8 p.m and then going to bed at 8 because that will just be so beautiful um and i washed my hair yesterday so i don't need to wash it today because if i had to do that with the level of fatigue that i have right now i would ko so okay my hand's frozen see you guys when i'm home so there is literally no words for how awful i look right now and this is my blanket because i've literally been sleeping on the sofa since i got home so i got home had one meal uh not even a meal like a like a light snack of like cash god i'm doing a bit of chicken light snack i don't know anyway slept for two hours on the sofa i fell asleep and then woke up and had dinner with my family we had Rima, and then i went back to sleep for two hours and now i'm awake again and it's like 10 30 and i'm just watching tv honestly not sleeping well last night i've caught up with it now so i hope that i can fall asleep properly when i um go to bed in about an hour i think maybe not even in about half an hour um depending when i feel sleepy again um but yeah i've honestly been so tired which is why i haven't really vlogged me having dinner and stuff and honestly look at the state of me like do you blame me <laughs> um so yeah i will try and vlog my home time better um tomorrow so i'll see you in the morning also, my mum just cut me some mango and I'm watching my favourite, Modern Family, um, on Netflix. I think I've watched every episode like 40 times, so I'm just gonna have some mangoes. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Oh my god, people don't follow me. Um, just walking into work again. FYI, everyone knows me as Puffer Jacket because I always wear this Puffer Jacket. Um, I'm gonna come back when no one's watching. So, it is my lunch break and Papa Jacket Seps is about to go and buy some lunch and eat with my friends. Um, also, I feel like in this vlog, I haven't addressed the fact that um, a lot of COVID cases have been rising significantly since um, the past few weeks and in the past couple months really, but really in the past few weeks, and I just feel like I want to give you guys the more doctor insight rather than um, the COVID insight because I know that a lot of you guys watch my vlogs for experiences of what it's like to be a doctor. So yeah, that's why I'm more focusing on that aspect. So I'm just making myself a coffee in the kitchen. I've finished for the day. I'm very happy. Um, oh, time to breathe some fresh air. Um, 
Today was a nice day of work and I love my team, which makes the day go by so much faster. And now I'm gonna go home and have some dinner and have some more energy compared to yesterday. So hopefully I can film a video for my YouTube channel because I want to show you guys the balance of being a YouTuber and a doctor, even though this is a vlog for YouTube, lol. Um, so yeah, I want to show you guys the balance of it all. So yeah, hopefully I'll have energy today to film a YouTube video. If not, then it'll be tomorrow. My car is so dirty, this is embarrassing. Salam. 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 My dad made Zeresh Polabamor, which is literally mm. my favorite food ever, and a whole tachi. Trust me, I wish I showed you this before we'd guys, this eaten was it all. So yummy. But um, look at that. This is like a rice cake. Literally. Like look, a rice it's got cake. Chicken in it. As chicken, well. yogurt, goji. Is it goji berries? Forest berries, gooseberries, I don't know. <laughs> um, and my favorite salad, Shirazi, Nun Tadik, and Mozer Shpolo. And chicken. Yummy. Hey, mom. Oh, hi, baby. Are you feeling better? Everyone's oh, asking. A lot. Thank you very much. Yes. Good. I'm, I'm perfect. Thank you very much. Thank I you for you. all of you. <laughs> Thank you very much for all of your messages and thank you very much for thinking of me. Thank you. <laughs> so I thought I'd quickly show you guys my outfit. I'm not even taking my coat off because I'm late and you can hear the coffee maker. But um, I got this jumper from Zara. I'm doing a huge Zara haul by the way. But I got this jumper from Zara and this skirt. And I would obviously wear my sleeves up. And I just wear my puffer jacket because I'm always cold. Okay. I have to brush. See you guys. So it's now lunchtime. Um, we had the wardrobe in the morning. I then did some bloods, and now I went to discuss a case with the radiologist. And then I'm probably going to go for lunch and come back and continue the jobs from the wardrobe. But um, it is very busy in hospital, guys. And I hope you all First stay safe. Floor. Just made my second coffee of the day so guys today is saturday and i've just got back from shooting for my instagram literally woke up took a shower did my hair and makeup picked out and uh outfits and then went out with my mum to shoot but i've come home to well actually these deliveries have been waiting for me to open them for the past week um, but obviously now that it's the weekend, I have the time because I've been busy with work all week. Also, we've run out of Nespresso capsule, so I went to get a Starbucks, which is not nice. Sol, you have to say hi now you're here. Hello! My vlog misses you. I miss you guys. You look so beautiful. What are you doing? Thank you. I'm recording a hand mask. Ooh! Yeah, it's because I don't know about you, Seb. But my hands are really suffering. You know what? Now that you've said that, not just the cold. Now but that you've said that, okay. Washing. Hold on. I have eczema literally all over my hand. Here, yeah, here, 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 here. Again, I think on you this should hand. try my hand mask and see Look at if that. it works. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to try your hand mask. Where are you filming it? I'm filming it here. Okay, do you want to watch me open my stuff and then do the hand mask on me? Because I actually need this. Okay. So, mum, do you want to see what I got? Mm, I'll to be on bash. My mum is eating a panini. She's been my photographer all day. So, <laughs> we went to Starbucks and when I got the latte, she got panini. Say hi, mum. Hello, everybody. <laughs> So, guys, I did a massive Zara order, and I've got 17 items, and that is coming in the mail. So, oh, sorry, it's come through in the mail, and I'm going to film that as a separate haul for you guys, and it's all, like, smart work clothes that I got in the sale. Look at you guys both sitting behind. All right, I'm going to sit in the middle so everyone can see both of you. Um, so, Sol told me that she was looking at this item as well from Zara. And I got it in the sale. I came to order it yesterday and it sold out. Really? Yeah, so and when I came to order, the rest oh, wow. of the stuff is sold out. So, so this is in your size. It's your luck. Look at that. What size it's is too, it? It's too big for me, in my opinion. But it is this asymmetric skirt. Yeah, and it's 
um, goes all the way down like that, and it's got these gold buttons. And I think it's very soul, to be honest. This is in a size small. So and that's not in my size. So I promise you this will fit you. No, my bum Shall we do bets? Shall we do bets? Will you try it on? What is it? Try it on, go on. This is like our whole family, by the way. Like, oh, I bet it went in and then it does. Um, we were talking about this yesterday. Mummy thinks that I'm smaller than what I am. My mum thinks I'm bigger than I am. <laughs> and the next... Do the buttons open? No. I don't think they do. Except there's no way so the buttons not open. fit me. The button's not open? Yeah. yeah, they do. Okay, so the next uh, shipment I got, I have been waiting for this since I saw them advertise it on their Instagram, is Bowen Tea. It looked so beautiful and they said they were going to drop it January 1st. I literally put an alarm for January 1st and I've never ever done that for a drop before. So I think I actually did it once for Kylie Jenner's lip kits when she first started launching them. But um, other than that, I've never done that. So, but I love Bowen Tea Gym Wear. Any of you guys who've watched my previous vlogs know that I love all their oh, stuff. Oh, wow. So... Oh, it's, see, what did I win? Come in the frame. I don't know, I don't think it's very flattering on me. And it's really nice. Wow. wow. So that is so nice. Look, look, you can see my, it's see my butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> no, pull it, up, pull it up a little bit, let's see. There we go. That is actually very beautiful. It's loose. Yeah, it is loose on you. It's not loose on me. It is. It is. I think you look really nice. I promise you, if I was to go... That is so pretty. If I was to bend down, you'd be able to see my DNA. Okay, but don't bend down. That's a lot of the story with a lot of my skirts. Like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> they hadn't enough material. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, going back to this Bowen tea, um, this is the box like lid, and then when you open it up, it comes like this. And I got a top, uh, sorry, a top and trousers matching. And then this is the trousers. How mm. beautiful. I always buy mine really in an nice. extra small, but it might show my butt. I don't know. So I will have to try that on. But it looks beautiful. It's like ribbed material. And it says bow and tee on the front. And it's skinny leggings. And it's part of like their new collection. And then the next thing I got is to match those trousers and it is this top oh, and wow. the top that like has nice. a zip front mm. that and is nice. I just think it's so oh, cute and it's got in zip in the front and oh, it's got you wow, know the thumb really holes cute. yeah I love the holes for the thumb mm. so it matches it says like the bow and tee on the top and the bottom which I think is very cute it. Um, do you think that will look nice on me? Yeah. I think it will as well. White really suits you. Yeah, white does suit me. It only suit me. suits me when I'm tanned. It suits, me, it suits everyone more when they're tanned, to be honest, I think. Um, same with red lips. Red lips suit so much more when you're tanned. And then the next item is from Lounge. They sent me this um, for an Instagram collaboration. And Sina has this set in green. And... Seeing as we are not going out, I think it's really nice to have cute loungewear to lounge about in. And also for me, whenever I film, I uh, feel like I'm always in the same loungewear. <laughs> so it's nice to have cute loungewear. So this is the top. Let me see. It's oh, like wow. brown. Yeah, exactly the same. How cute. This is really oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so yeah, pretty. How lovely it is. I know yeah. it's meant to be loud, but Sina I has this wear mom. it out. Yeah, it's I would really understand. Beautiful. Sina has this mum. She has it in green. Probably I wear it. Like <laughs> <laughs> and then it comes with matching trousers. And what's cool is like they sell it as a set. Oh. So. Is that a skirt or trousers? It's trousers and it's like beautiful as size. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, and just looks really that. comfortable. Look at that. And then That's so, like the chicest lounge yeah. I've seen. Very pretty. What size is that? I've got a small, so top and bottom small. And I then think the, like she has green as well, no? Yeah, exactly. And the last item I got, you guys are going to be so jealous, it is this Law of Attraction 
um, guided 100 day manifestation journal. No, let me see. So I was looking for like uh, gratitude books and stuff for the new year and oh, I yeah. ordered this. My family really believes in the law of attraction, we really believe in manifestation and um, You're so muddy. Now you too, huh? This is such a good book. How there. good? Sorry, my dog is distracting from? us because he's just come back from a walk and he's so muddy. So I got it from Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys. But basically, it's a guided journal um, to manifest everything that you want. And I think it's a perfect thing for the start of the new year. So what a better way to start the year than to manifest your goals and it basically guides you every day like it's got uh some writing next to it and how to basically attract what it is that you want and seeing as we believe in manifesting so much i thought this was perfect for me so how much was it i think it was 20 pounds very good i i think it's worth i think anything that invests in your mental health and well-being is worth it's a good everything. investment yeah so now I'm going to get Sol to give me a hand mask. Um, it's going to help with my eczema, hopefully. So if you guys want to see how she makes it, head over to her channel, Dr. Sol. Salam. Hi. Say hi to my vlog. You haven't been on my vlog in ages. Hello. Do you miss everybody. everyone? I miss everybody. I love everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Ooh, food is coming. Guys, I put on the lounge outfit. Let me show you. Miggy didn't enjoy us on here. So I've just been eating walnuts. But this is the outfit that lounge sent me. How pretty. It's really comfortable. Very beautiful. I'm wearing a size S. It's quite long on me, but I'm five foot two. So if you are taller than five foot two, it will be the perfect. It's very slope. beautiful. But it's very, so comfy. Very very yes, but I think you are beautiful. <laughs> 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 so much chicharri. <laughs> oh. oh, man, me hamo, man, me hamo. Mom, you're only ever this happy when chella kebab <laughs> is in the picture. <laughs> oh, inke chicharri da ye. This is like the house shop. Is this the house? Or? Oh no, this is the food. It's salad. Lol. Okay. So, oh, do yeah, had to be done. Yeah, yeah, shan't do something. Yeah. Oh, oh, guys, so my Turkish followers will know you'll know about both of these actually. Um, but this is a, a turnip juice that's Turkish, and they usually drink this with rocky, but I drink this by itself as my favorite. It's spicy, it's not for everyone, but I love it. And this is duh, which Turkish people have as iron, Arabic people have as mum. What do Arabic people call iron as well? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. No. Yeah, Arabic people call it iron. No, they call it duh, I think. No? Nah. It's and true. let us know, my Arabic followers, what do you call leban? Leban. Leban, yeah. yes. Yes. Leban. There Leban. we go. And lassi in. Uh, um, lassi is Indian. Yeah, for Indian followers. But uh, I think lassi is sweet. But leban, iran, dur, they're all salty. So yeah, this is the fizzy version. And then we have some perrier. We've got chilla kebab for the whole fam. And then Iranians have this powder. It's like a, it's like a red powder, and it's called somar or sumac berries. And it's like red and it's kind of like bitter, but it's really nice on rice. And Iranians also have onion with their kebab. I don't eat onion with my kebab because I, I do. don't want my breath to stink. I love chilies with my kebab, but recently my skin's been breaking out and I don't know if it's because I've been eating chilies or what. So yeah. Also, I ordered some new serums. So I'll show you guys that before bed. Um, but they finally come. It's some new serums and exfoliating um kind of face wipey kind of thing that you guys recommended to me when i asked you in my previous vlog so i'm excited for you guys to see so tell us the cool story you were just saying so as i was going to uh, coming out of the shop uh, coming out of my car and putting my mask on this police officer came out of kfc and he said oh hello and i said hello <laughs> and then went into the restaurant as I was waiting for the lady to serve me, um, she was on the phone. He came in, maybe a minute later, he came in and he started walking towards the back and he said, can I use your toilet? 
And then as he's going towards the back, the lady was like, excuse me. Behind her. <laughs> and she said, excuse me, where are you going? And he said, can I just use your toilet? And she was like, no, Corona. <laughs> I know that this is the hundredth time you'll see me in this hoodie. Oh my God, I look it's because right. you leave me, I leave it downstairs, and so I just wear it when I'm cold. Um, hey guys, pull it to you. Why would I pay 200 pounds for? For some trousers. No. Um, I'm sitting with Sina <laughs> on the sofa. Hey guys. I'm trying to get into I your vlog for the ages. crown. I know. I'm watching the crown because one of my nurses told me. My nurse has told me that she really likes it, so I'm trying to get into Wait, it. I keep telling her, you know what I fell in love with last year, Downton Abbey, and I yeah, Sina it keeps telling me to watch Downton. Um, yeah. but I watched the first episode and I just couldn't get into it. To be fair, I watched the first episode of the crown and couldn't get into it, so I just skipped into the second episode. No, it's I love Downton Abbey, and I I was addicted to it. like when i finished watching it i was like i missed i missed watching it you know really? like i was like oh no what? i'm like that with gossip girl apparently the new gossip girls launching this year guys also didn't you love emily in paris emily in paris is so good is it launching this year emily in paris you watched it no but the new uh, the yeah there should be a new one if they can film it and there's going to be a new season of sex education which i'm looking forward to bridgerton they're filming listen by the time they bring out the next season of emily in paris it'll be like should be there for 10 years i wonder because you know how in england um, they are still allowed to film for TV, even though it's uh, locked down. So I wonder if they're going to film and show like people with masks and like living in a pandemic life. Or do you think they're just going to act like this isn't happening? What do you mean? Like, you know, like, let's say they film sex education. Do you think they'll show them like living in the yeah, pandemic with know, masks? But you know, um, apparently like um, one of my friends who watched Grey's Anatomy, I stopped watching that, by the way, from like season three. Because even though I'm studying medicine, I just found Grey's Anatomy so depressing. Not the medical side of it, but the characters of it. They keep killing the characters off and it's so depressing. And that's But what's the thing that you wanted to but, say? Um, yeah, so basically in Grey's Anatomy, they're doing COVID lines. Like they all have COVID and like apparently they spoiler alert, you guys. But they're killing off like one of the main characters. Maybe. Really? I mean, I don't, yeah. Or, Madness. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't watch it, but this is what I've heard. Um, also, I did a Q and A today, and a lot of you guys are asking me if I'm getting the vaccine. So the vaccine um, was offered to all the staff at my hospital. We could book in from the fourth of January. Um, so I am going to book in for my COVID vaccine, and I don't. I know people might ask me which jab is it in our hospital? Is it Pfizer? Is it Oxford? The answer is I don't know which jab it is. So how yeah. will you find out when you get it done? On yeah, the day? I think when you get it done on the day you find out. Obviously, they, you could see it, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like they put a sellotape on it. Yeah. So, okay, we're gonna chillax now. So I'm so I'm getting ready to go to bed now, and I'm just gonna wash my face. Sina bought a new face wash. It's the Garnier Organic Fresh Lemongrass Detox Gel Wash and it looks like this and actually i've been using it for about four or five days now and it's really nice um i really like it um i've also bought some sunday riding products that are quite small i'll show you guys that as well because i wanted to try it before i buy the full size because it can be quite pricey so yeah i'm gonna wash my makeup off and i'll see you in the morning so Guys, I, I wanted to show you last night this set that I got from Sunday Riley. It is the vitamin, it's the CEO serum, this one, and this is the Lunar Night Oil. I've used it for two days now, and so far, I feel like my skin's improving, but I don't know if it's because my hormones, my hormones are, that doesn't make sense to say improving. My hormones are getting, yeah, no, I am. It's because um, before I start my period, this is That's TMI for some people, but before before I start my period, my skin breaks out, so now it is um, improving. But yeah, I am going to give you guys an update once I've used all of it, because that is like a sample size. 
um so i want to trial it out i also bought this um paula's choice and this is the two percent bha liquid exfoliant so i'm gonna try these out on my skin and i will let you guys know how i get along with it but hopefully my skin will be looking bueno so i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope that you guys have enjoyed coming to work with me and seeing what my life is like as a junior doctor in aau it was kind of a brief insight obviously there's only so much that we can film in hospital but if you guys want to see more vlogs like this then please give it a thumbs up also please give a thumbs up for all of the embarrassment that i went through trying to film myself at work um it's kind of intense but i had some really cute colleagues who were like telling me and encouraging me to film when i could so shout out to them as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more vlogs down here press the red button press the bell so you get notified of more videos and check out my socials my instagram is persian bunny my snapchat is sepi samai my clinic instagram is dr s aesthetics and my tiktok which i'm recently filming and being a lot more active on is a Persian underscore bunny. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!